Hi friends, so welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity. Install and configure IoT devices. Here is our scenario. In this activity, we will connect the computing and IoT devices to the home network. All the IoT devices have been configured to work with rocker switches connected to single board computer. The IoT devices need to be connected to the home gateway and registered with the registration server that is www.register.pka we already have an account with the registration server here we can see the server details server address www.register.pka username and password admin after the iot devices are connected to the home network and registered with the registration server, we will be able to control the IoT devices at home or away from home via the registration server. Coming to part 1, setting up the home network. Step 1, set up the wired network. Connect any available fast Ethernet port on home switch to any available Ethernet port on home gateway using a copper straight through cable. Coming to our topology, here we can see the devices, a home switch and a home gateway. Coming to connections and here we are going to select this copper straight through. Coming to home gateway, we will connect to Ethernet to 1. And coming to home switch, we will connect to fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. Coming to B, connect fast Ethernet 0 port on PC to any available fast Ethernet port on home switch using a copper straight through cable. Right, coming to copper straight through cable. From this PC, fast Ethernet 0 to home switch, you will connect to fast Ethernet 0 slash 2. Coming to C, click PC, then click desktop. Then click IP configuration. Select DHCP for the IP configuration. Right. So here is our PC, desktop, IP configuration. And here we are going to select DHCP here. Requesting IP address. DHCP request successful. And here we can see the IP address details. IP address 192.168.25.100. Submit to mask and here we can see the default gateway. Now we will come to step 2. Set up the wireless network. Click home gateway. Click the config tab. Click internet in the left panel. Right here is our home gateway. Config. And here we can see uh, this uh, internet. Right. So click DHCP under Internet Settings. Here we can see that Internet Settings. Here we can see DHCP option. The home gateway will receive the settings from the ISP. Here we can see the details. Uh, IP address, submit to mask, default gateway and DNS server. So these details are received from the ISP. Uh, within the home gateway, click Wireless. Here we can see wireless option. Right. Next is a change the SSID to my home gateway. Here we can see SSID. It's by default home gateway. We will change it to uh, my home gateway. Right. Change the authentication to WPA2-PSK. Enter Cisco IoT as the PSK passphrase. Here we can see authentication and here we are going to uh, enable this. And here we are going to give the passphrase as uh, Cisco IoT. Next is uh, click laptop, click desktop, click PC wireless. So we will close this uh, home gateway and here we can see our laptop, desktop, and here we have a PC wireless. Then we will go to connect tab. We will refresh here for the wireless. And here we can see 
my home gateway we will connect to this uh, wireless connect so here we have to give the shared key it's uh, cisco iot and we will give connect here we completed these steps click connect tab select my home gateway network if wireless network name is not displayed click refresh we done that then click connect enter cisco iot as a pre-shared key then click connect so here we connected and here we can see now this laptop is connected to this home gateway now we will come to step 3 connect the iot devices to the network IoT devices can be connected using uh, wires or wirelessly. The coffee port will be connected to the network using Ethernet cables. The lamp and the ceiling fan will be connected wirelessly. Coming to A. Connect the coffee port to any available fast Ethernet port using a copper straight through cable. So here is our copper straight through cable. Coffee port, fast Ethernet 0. To home switch, fast Ethernet 0 slash 3. Coming to B, click coffee port, click config, click fast Ethernet 0, select DHCP for the IP configuration. So coming to coffee port, config, here we can see fast Ethernet 0. And here we are going to give a DHCP option. And here we can see this device, coffee port or received IP address and to mask. Coming to C, click lamp, click config, click wireless zero. Then enter my home gateway as the SSID. Then click WPA2-PSK. Enter Cisco IoT as the PSK passphrase. Then select DHCP for the IP configuration. So here we can see our lamp. We will click on that. Then we will come to config. And here we can see wireless zero. Here we are going to give this SSID as specified. It's a my home gateway. And here, this, this authentication, we are going to select this WPA2-PSK. And here, we are going to give the passphrase. That is Cisco IoT. And now, we are going to select DHCP from this IP configuration. And here, we can see IP address and submit to mask. Coming to D, repeat step C for a ceiling fan. Right. Here we can see the device ceiling fan. We will click on that. Config and here we can see wireless zero. Here we will change the SSID. My home gateway. And here we will select WPA2-PSK and we will give the passphrase. Cisco IOT and here we will give a DHCP under this IP configuration and here we can see the IP address received right now we will come to part 2 interacting with the IOT devices the IoT devices can be configured to be controlled directly with the switches or through a web interface. In part 2, we will connect the IoT devices to a registration server uh, so we can control the IoT devices via a web interface. Coming to step 1, access the IoT devices locally. You can control the IoT devices directly by pressing Alt and clicking device at the same time. A. Click Alt plus Lamb a few times. 
so coming to our topology here we can see our lamp we have to press the alt button from the keyboard and we have to click on this device we can see now this lamp is in dim now this lamp is on and again i am going to click this lamp is off so once more we will do that it's a dim it's on and it's off so how many settings does the lamp have we have seen that uh, three uh, settings and what are the settings we have seen uh, one is off then we have seen dim and uh, on next is a uh, click alt plus a lamp switch a few times how many settings does the lamp switch have and what are the settings so here we can see uh, our lamp switch so we will uh, press the alt button from the keyboard and we will click on this uh, lamp switch now we can see this lamp is on again we will click on this lamp switch we can see it's off so here we have only two settings one is uh, uh, lamp on and a lamp off coming to B repeat with the ceiling fan and the coffee pot so first of all we will do it on this uh, ceiling fan uh, we will press alt button from the keyboard and uh, we will click on this uh, ceiling fan now we can see it's a uh, low speed we will click once more now it's in high speed and we will click once more now this uh, ceiling fan is off so once more we will do that low speed high speed and it's off so here we got three settings so coming to this uh, fan switch we will press alt and uh, we will uh, click on this fan switch now we can see uh, it's a uh, high speed and now fan is off so on this uh, fan switch uh, we have uh, two settings uh, that is high speed and uh, fan off now we will do it on this coffee pot we will press uh, the alt button from the keyboard and we will click on this coffee pot now we can see it's on we will press once more now we can see it's off so here we have uh, two settings coming to this coffee pot switch now we can see this uh, coffee pot is on now this coffee pot is off so here also we have uh, two settings uh, coffee pot on and off now we will come to step two configure the iot devices uh, for remote access to control the IoT devices remotely via web interface, the devices need to be registered with a registration server. So click on LAMP, then click CONFIG, then under the IOE server heading, click Remote Server. Provide the following information to connect to the registration server. So we have to give the server address as www.register.pka, username admin, password admin. Coming to our LAMP. We will click on that here is our config tab so coming to the last here we can see IOT server and here we are going to give us a remote server and here we are going to give the server address as specified www.register.pka the username as admin password also as admin then we will give connect After a moment here we can see that connect button uh, changed to a refresh. That means it's connected. Right. So coming to D, uh, repeat uh, steps A uh, till C for a ceiling fan and a coffee pot. We will do that one by one. First of all we will do it on the ceiling fan. Config. And here we can see IoT server, remote server, server address is www.register.pka, username is admin, password also admin. And here we will give connect. And here we can see now it's a refresh. Coming to coffee pot, config. remote server 
server address www.register.pka username is admin password also admin connect it's now changed to refresh it's connected now we will come to step 3 access the IOT devices remotely click laptop then click desktop then go to a uh, web browser then enter this www.register.pka enter admin as the username and password then click sign in here is our laptop you to go to desktop web browser and here we are going to give the URL www.register.pka go username is admin password also admin sign in and here we can see the details coming to see click the chevron to view the device status and controllers so uh, coming to the laptop here we can see coming to ceiling fan he, we will expand and here we can see the status of low and high now it's off coming to lamp here we can see uh, three uh, settings now the status is off also we can see dim and on coming to coffee port here we can see uh, on uh, now this device is off right coming to D turn on lamp by clicking dim what happened to lamp in the topology we will check that here we can see our lamp and here we are going to click on this uh, dim and now we can see this lamp is in dim even we can click on on we can see now it's on or it's dim or it's off right so what did you click to turn on the coffee port from the laptop so coffee port here we can uh, uh, click on this button and now we can see uh, this button is in a green color and here we can see this coffee port is on and if you click on this button again we can see this coffee port is off it's on right coming to E uh, we can also control the devices while you are away from home by accessing the registration server uh, click smartphone click desktop then click web browser then enter this uh, URL then enter admin as the username and password then click sign in now we will close this laptop and we will come to our uh, smartphone desktop web browser here we are going to give the URL www.register.pka username admin password admin sign in and here we can see our devices and we can control from this smartphone here we can see ceiling fan now it's off we can see now in a low speed now here we can see it's in high speed or we can put it off coming to lamp and now we can see it's off here is a dim here is on and again off coming to coffee pot this coffee pot is off now we will put it on here we can see that so we able to uh, control uh, from this uh, smartphone also well that's all in this packet tracer activity uh, that is install and configure iot devices uh, from internet of things here we can see our completion status of this packet tracer activity it's 21 out of 21 friends if you have any doubt regarding this packet tracer activity please comment below also, if you like this video, give a thumb and share with all your friends. We have more number of technical videos in future, so consider subscribing, 
stay tuned thank you